Good afternoon, class. You are welcome to today's lesson. Today, we are going to be looking at a particular topic in social studies for GSS3. And that topic has to do with love. Love. Now, the lesson objective, you should be able to define the meaning of love at the end of the class. You should be also be able to give us types of love. As well, you should be able to state the qualities of love. And at the same time, we should be able to describe behaviors that enhance loving relationship. In a country, there is need for love because love makes citizens to be able to live in harmony. It helps citizens to be able to cooperate together for the development of the country. So to start with, we want to know the meaning of love. Love refers to a warm feeling of affection towards oneself and others. What does that mean? It means that before you can love any other person, you must first of all love yourself. It is when you love yourself that you will think positively towards others. If you fail to love yourself, it will affect the love that you will show to others. Love also involves showing affection and concern for oneself and other people. So as a citizen of a country, it is paramount that we should live in love. Because without love, the society cannot be a peaceful place to live in. Now there are ways that we can express love or ways of showing loving behavior. The first aspect is caring. Caring. You show care for your neighbors. You show care for your siblings. Because when you show care, it shows that you are expressing love. Also, sharing. You share what you have with others. As an individual, if you fail to share your ideas with other people, it means you don't love. It is when you share your ideas with others, that is what will give us enabling environment for people to live and to be happy to move about their day-to-day -day activities. Another way of expressing love is through visitation. You visit. For example, as a student, you need to know your friend's place, where your friend is living, so that during holidays, you can visit. Or, for example, something happens, maybe a friend is sick, you need to visit that friend in the hospital. If you don't visit, that is not a good way of expressing love. But when you visit your friend in the hospital, it shows that truly you love and show concern for your friend. Another way of expressing love is through showing respect. Respect is very, very important in our day-to-day -day activities. So when you express respect towards your friend, keeping his or her privacy, ensuring that your friend is doing well. For example, maybe there is a topic your friend does not understand in mathematics. You try to explain to your friend is a personal thing and by so doing, you are respecting your friend that you care for him. Not that you will now go behind your friend and be saying that he doesn't understand that uh, uh, simultaneous equation. No. By doing that, you are not respecting your friend. Another way is through exchange of gifts. For instance, days are very important in our life, our birthday, and those that are already married, 
their anniversary date and what have you. For example, our parents. We need to exchange gifts, buy a card to appreciate mommy or daddy that mommy, this is for you for celebrating your wedding anniversary or your friend that is celebrating his or her birthday. You can give your friend a gift of card, just express your feeling you are a nice person, you are so good, we appreciate you, thank God for keeping you. All these are ways of expressing love. Then, another aspect is when you want to render assistance. For example, maybe during your short break, your friend does not have enough on him or her to get something from the talk show. And you are having more than enough. Maybe you have 500 Naira. You can share with your friend by giving your friend maybe 100 Naira. Take, buy snacks with this or buy a drink with this. And your friend will appreciate that. So you need to render assistance either financially or academically. These are ways that we can really show that we are expressing loving relationship. Now we want to look at types of love. Now we have different types of love. You, we need to be able to differentiate because in a school, some students mistake certain law to others. For example, when it comes to infatuation, infatuation is not love, but some take it to be love. But when we run through the types of love, we have a better understanding of what love is all about. Now, let me quickly list types of love before I start explaining the types of love one after the other. The first one is self-love. The second one is friendship love. The third one is comfortable love. The fourth one is romantic love. The fifth one is infatuation. The sixth is complete love. The next is cupboard love. The eighth types of love is platonic love. And the last type of love is agape love. Now, I want to explain self-love. Now, under self-love, we need to understand that there's nothing wrong when you love yourself. Self-love is the affection that a person has for himself or herself. Self-love does not mean selfishness. You need not to worry yourself when somebody says you are selfish when you actually love yourself. When you love yourself, you protect yourself. When you love yourself, you, 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 you manage your family values. When you love yourself, you, 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 you show it in the way that you relate with people. But some people may think that eh, this one is selfish. No, it's not that you are selfish. You are just trying to maintain your family values. And Many of us in our society today, a lot of things are happening that is really affecting the development of the society. And that's the reason why you see a lot of things happening in the society, the rate of crime is increasing. The reason for that is because we don't love ourselves. When you love yourself, you will not think of negative things that will affect the development of the society. So that is the reason why First of all, you need to love yourself. And when you love yourself, that does not mean you are selfish. You are only just trying to protect yourself as a citizen of Nigeria. The second type of love is friendship love. Now, when we talk about friendship love, it is the affection that friends have for each other. There is nothing wrong when you have friends. Now, your choice of friends depends on your values. Now, when you make good friends, then you extend love to your friend. And that is why we have friendship love. That affection that you have to share with others. The third type of love is comfortable love. Now, under comfortable love, it is the affection that exists between parents and children. You see, family is very, very important because family is the unit that makes up the society. 
the father, the mother, and the children. When we have a good family, then it will affect the existence that takes place in the society. And that's the reason why comfortable love is shown by parents to their children. It is a strong level of caring, protection, loyalty, etc. Characteristics parents love for their children. You see, when your parents take care of you, send you to school, buy you things, it's just because they value you as a student, as a child. They value you. And that's the reason why they are showing that comfortable love. So we students should not take it for granted that after all, my daddy loves me, my mommy loves me, so I can misbehave. You don't need to misbehave. You need to maintain that family value. You need to maintain and appreciate that love because it is the care they give to you that will take you to your future, that will make you to become somebody important, that will make you to become the president, that will make you to become somebody relevant in the society. If they don't care for you, send you to good school, buy you things, then they are not showing any love. Then why do they bring you to this world? And that's the reason why you see a lot of children roaming about the streets. It's simply because the, their parents are not showing them comfortable love. When you see a parent showing comfortable love, they go extra mile to protect you, to ensure that wherever you go to, you are safe, to ensure that nobody disrespects you. So we need to value that love that our parents are showing to us. We need not to take it for granted. And that is what will make us to be a better citizen in our society that will not break laws will not break rules and regulation that is guiding even school environment. We are going to be looking at the fourth type of love, which has to do with romantic love. Romantic love is the affection between a male and a female, which basically involves the feelings of happiness, togetherness, and sexual desire. Yes, a time will come after your university by the grace of God and you start working. Yes, you'll be ready to get married. So when you get married, then you will experience romantic love. Just the way your parents are already experiencing it. Because without romantic love, we will not be here today. It is romantic love that brought us all together. So romantic love should not be mistaken to, be, to comfortable love. It should not be mistaken to friendship love or self-love. So you need to understand these different types of love. So that by the time you get to a stage, you should be able to know the type of love that is existing at that moment. And that takes us to infatuation, which is common among students. Infatuation, it is an extreme, temporary, and irrational sexual feeling, which a person has for someone at first sight. Now, when you see somebody for the very first time, that attraction may be there, that feeling or that I like this person may be there, but you must be careful because it is infatuation. At that moment, that person will be physically attracted to the opposite sex. This fake loving relationship usually ends quickly due to distance, frequent chorus, and so on and so forth. So you need to understand that when you are feeling infatuated, you should be careful. So that you don't mistake that you love this person. You don't actually love. You just feel that you like this person and you'll be having negative thoughts. So it's a fake type of love. It is not a real love. That takes us to complete love. Now, it is a very strong feeling of affection, which is unconditional. That is complete love. Complete love is a strong feeling of affection which is unconditional and total in practice it does not necessarily involve sexual intercourse it takes time to develop so that's another stage another aspect of love this one is you are trying to assist you don't have a negative intention towards the opposite or towards your neighbor but you are just trying to appreciate the person you are ready to help the person to achieve purpose that takes us to cupboard love. 
Cobalt love is a sudden and extremely friendly behavior of one person to another in order to get what they want. You see, sometimes we are very funny. We pretend to be in love. Maybe you wanted to collect something from your friend. So you just pretend that you love your friend because of what you want to collect from your friend. And as soon as you are able to get that thing from your friend, then the love is over. That is what we know as cobalt love. It is not true. It's just because you want to get money or you want your friend to assist you to do something. So that is what we call cobalt love. Then we go to platonic love. Platonic love is a special friendship between a male and a female which is based on God's law and does not involve sexual relations. This one is common among the youths. You see, you will see a boy, a, a, a guy and a lady always together. They are trying to plan their life together. They are trying to see how they can be of help to themselves. So this special type of law is what we know to be platonic. And this does not mean they have any negative intention. All they are just doing, they are friends. And as time goes on, it may end up nice. But all we know is that they are trying to befriend and assist themselves. That takes us to the last type of love, which is agape love. Agape love it is a warm feeling of affection that is completely selfless and spiritual. It is based on God's law and does not involve sexual relations. It exists among members of the same sex and between males and females. This is the type of love that God wants us to have towards everybody that comes our way. So this is spiritual and it is God's own love. And when you have agape love, you can do whatever to help your friend become something meaningful in the society. So, having taken note of the different types of love and having been able to differentiate the different types of love, we should be able to appreciate at any stage we find ourselves the type of love that is existing. And that will help us to know how to relate with our co-students in class, with our friends in church, with our friends in our various homes and that will guide us so that we will not make mistakes. But take note of this, that sexual feelings and romantic attractions are often mistakenly regarded as love by many young people. Now, you need not to make mistake of what love or affection is all about. You need to understand that these different types of love is helping us to know the particular type of love that is existing at that moment. But as you are growing, as you are getting mature, you tend to understand the meaning of love better. Now we are going to be looking at behaviors that enhance loving relationship. There are some behaviors, there are some things you will see that will guide you, that will help you to love better. And that number one is mutual respect. When you say you are in love with somebody, you must respect that person mutually. Just the way you want people to treat you, you must as well treat others that way. You don't reveal your friend's secret to others simply because your friends see you as a friend. And that does not give you the privilege to go and be mocking your friend behind him or her. Then you need to share. You must be able to share. If you are the type that doesn't share, it will be difficult to love. Then you must be ready to tolerate. We are all from different backgrounds. And our culture differs. Where we are coming from, the homes we are coming from, it may be from a Christian home, it may be from a Muslim home. So depending on where you are coming from, you must be ready to tolerate. Because a lot of things will be happening even while you are in class. Somebody may want to make you unhappy. Somebody may step on your toes. Then how do you cope? 
you tolerate that person, but point to the person that you doesn't like this, you don't like that, and that will set to it. Then you need to be close, closeness and continuous togetherness. That's another behavior that enhances love relationship. If you want your relationship to grow, if you want your loving relationship to grow with your friend, then you must always be together, planning together, t discussing meaningful things that will bring about progress your way, even when you leave secondary school. Good and constant communication. You must communicate very well. You must have good communication, not coming together and be discussing bad things. You discuss things that will affect you, maybe the career you want to do later, maybe you want to become a medical doctor, maybe you want to become an engineer, maybe you want to become an accountant, maybe you want to become a, a nurse and what have you. So you, need, you start discussing it, planning towards it. Then you start making future plans together. You start planning. What are we to do? How are we going to achieve this? So you plan together. Then you work towards mutual goals. The goals you are setting for yourself, like maybe you want to become a governor, maybe you want to come, become a president. These goals, you work towards it so that you be able to achieve it. Those are the behaviors that will enhance your love relationship. Also, you must not forget important dates. These are very important in our life. For example, birthday, then our wedding dates. So these are very important. So you need to understand and keep those at art always. You need not to forget the bed, your birthday, your friend's birthday dates because it tells and goes a long way. Now we are looking at facts about love. We need to know some things about love. For example, love is not the same as sexual involvement. When you are in love with somebody, that does not mean you want to have sex with that person. No. It is a wrong notion for you to be having that feeling that you want to have sex with your friend. No. It is a wrong notion. Then the second one is, first love may often be one of the last life most intense memorable experiences. Now, when you love somebody, you meet the person for the very first time, that will help you to know the kind of person you are moving with. And if you are careful enough, this friendship can last forever. So first love may often be one of the life most intense memorable experiences that you never want to forget your friend. Even if your friend should travel out, you still keep in touch. You talk together, you ask about your friend's progress, you get to know what your friend is doing over there, and that will also check you that am I doing well? Am I really making progress? So these are facts about love. Love usually takes time to develop. Now, don't forget that this topic, love, is not something that you toy with. It's not something that you just come about and you develop immediately. No, it takes time to develop. In a loving relationship, people respect and encourage each other. So when you say you are in love, you must respect and you must encourage yourselves. Now, let's see myths about love. Now, when we talk about myths, I believe you all understand what we mean by myths. Myths are things that are not that true, but some people want to make it true. So you need to be careful so that when they are saying some things, it should not affect you because some things that are not true and some, some people are saying it, it may affect your ego, it may affect your self-esteem. So if you know it now, then you don't have any problem. Number one, you can only fall in love once. It's a myth. One can fall in love several times with different people over a lifetime. Then number two, love conquers all. It's a myth. There are some issues love cannot resolve. For example, somebody that is poor, poverty, famine, you are now asking love to solve that. No, love cannot solve that. You need to work, you need to be hardworking, you need to get something doing. For you to be able to overcome poverty and you need to also ensure that you have savings so that you don't fall into famine then let us see importance of love among human beings why is this topic so important number one love promotes social stability it is love that makes society to be stable it is love that makes a country to develop if there is no love, 
there won't be social stability. It is law that makes the different political parties to relate with one another. If there is no love, then there won't be peace, there won't be progress in the society. So we should understand that love is very, very important. It brings about understanding among the people. Now, when we love, we understand ourselves, we relate with ourselves, and we do things in common. It enhances peace. When any environment that has love, you observe peace. Any society that has love, you will experience peace. Any home, any family that they are, they, they are in a very good love relationship, you will discover that peace is the, the outcome of such family. It brings companionship, makes people to come together. Now, why, why do you think it's easier for somebody from the north to marry somebody from the west or somebody from the east to marry somebody from the west? It's simply because love is existing. And that's the reason why we can come together and live as one. It promotes cooperation and unity. We all go to school, we all go to a different working place, we see different people. If there is no love, we will not cooperate with, the, with our colleagues, we will not cooperate with our friends, we will not cooperate with people around us. So we need to understand that love is very, very important. Now let us see qualities of love. Now if you really want to prove that you love, you need to possess the following qualities. If you don't have these qualities, forget it that you don't love. Because without these qualities, you cannot say you love somebody. Number one is commitment. Commitment. You must be committed to that person that you say you love. When you say you love, you must exhibit commitment. Number two, companionship. You relate together, you live together, you do things in common. Then honesty. You must be honest. If you are not honest, Forget it. You are not displaying love. Then respect. You must respect yourself, respect others. Then understanding. You must understand the person you say you are in love with or you are relating with. Then acceptance. You must accept things that comes your way. You accept them. If you don't accept, then you, you don't love. Then you must be someone that cares. You must show caring. You must be careful, caring towards your friend, towards your teachers, towards people around you. Then trust. You must be able to trust. If you don't trust, forget it. You don't love. Then toler tolerance. You must be ready to tolerate. Then forgiveness. There is no way your friend will not offend you because conflict is inevitable. So you must be ready to forgive. After telling your friend, I don't like this, then you let go. Their responsibility, you must be ready to be responsible. If you are not responsible, forget it. You cannot say you love. Then, reliability. Are you someone that can be reliable? Are you, can somebody rely on you? So these are qualities of love. So all these qualities are necessary for us to be able to appreciate love. So to say, with this in mind, you must understand that love is very, very important in our society. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you and I believe you will learn better after now. Okay, bye for now. Mm.